Hey, uh, how was it being a franchise as successful as Rocky? How do you feel, you both? Proud. Good. Yeah, <laughs> good. It was an honor, you know, to, uh, to be able to, you know, carry that, 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 that legacy, you know what I'm saying, a franchise forward, but have, but have your own identity, you know, I think it was really important to not, you know, to, to be a Creed film, you know, I think that was really important for us, but it, it feels great to, to, to have a success, you know. What does it feel like working with the iconic Sylvester Stallone? Oh, that's great, man. Honestly, man, he's a, he's a legend. He's been doing this longer than we've been living. <laughs> so, so to be able to play, you know, against him, you know, in a, in a, in a scene, um, is uh, it's motivation, you know, it's motivation to uh, you know to, to work hard, you know, this, that, this, you know, that's what can happen if you work hard, you know, and you, you, you yes. focus and you sacrifice. Yes. So I think motivation is really important. My first movie was Rocky IV, you know, and mm -hmm. I, when I was looking at the screen and seeing those those two fighting against each other, training, and you know, I, I told my dad actually, I want to you look like them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You want to look like them. You gotta work your ass up. So yeah, it, it was a true honor to work, to work with those legends. How were the fight scenes shot? Oh, uh, well, you know, a lot of cameras. Uh, sometimes, you know, you know. But ah, it, it was real. It, yeah, it, it, we, it had to be real. You know, yes, like yes, yes. obviously there's some Did punches. You punch him? <laughs> we had to if you wanted to. I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's a uh, you know. As, as real as it could be, you know, obviously he's not trying to, you know, kill me, you know, I'm not trying to, like, really hurt him, you know, but, you know, as, as much as we can, body shots are all, you know, real, you know, um, there's certain punches that we can't fake and we have to get hit. I know I hit him a bunch of times and he hit me a bunch of times. He went to the hospital, I went to the hospital. So, that's like, <laughs> so we want to make it real because, you know, it has to be. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Francis! <Frenzy. laughs> <laughs> what was the most remarkable moment for you during the film? Well, for me, I would say, you know, without, you know, getting too much away from the movie, without a spoiler, um, the, last, the last fight, the last mm. round, mm. You know, when uh, a special person leaves the, the, the arena, and, you know, I, I'm seeing it, you know, mm. I felt very emotional, you know, and I, I remember how we did it and how we played it, and, what I was going through and um, and how the crowd, you know, we had extras there, we had like 2,000 extras there, how they reacted to it and, you know, once I saw that, how they reacted to it and I knew, I was very proud. I just got emotional just now. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So yeah, I think I would go with that one. Uh, That's tough. Yeah, man, I was really proud of this guy. It was like, it was really, really good moment, man. It was, it was, it was really good. Um, for me, uh, I'm gonna go with like the underwater montage. You know what I'm saying? Like I think you know, for me being underwater, uh, I've always wanted to, especially the iconic Muhammad Ali photo. You know, him underwater. You know, I, I always in my head was like, man, it'd be cool to like you know have an underwater training montage and like put it in a movie. So to kind of like go from that idea years ago, you know, to actually see it happen and, and, and see it on screen is, is like was a was a was a you know big moment for me. So it's one of my favorite. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, what was the biggest challenge coming back to the role of Bianca? It's always a challenge to write and perform the music, so and that's always where it begins. So working on the songs, and then I would say second to that, babies, having babies around, trying to keep babies quiet, trying to make babies laugh. But it was a beautiful challenge, and we were helped in some way because we had two sets of twins. So when one baby got to be too much, you just returned that baby and got the other baby that hopefully was well fed and in a better mood. So still. that's the, the other question. Uh, having a baby on set, how was it acting like you were a mother? It was really fun. I really like babies. And I like last night we were all out to dinner and there was a baby there and I just was like, I'm like a moth to a flame. I just, they're so soft and they smell good usually. Uh, so I like babies, but you know, strangers don't always want you to uh, hold their babies. You can't like, just like, 
take a baby from people. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but in this case, I, it was my job to hold their baby, so that was really nice. I was, I, I, yeah, I can't say enough about it. I really like it. Bianca and Adonis are a couple, but we see that both make their own decisions. Right? What do you think about their relationship? Do you consider she could stop him? I don't think she'd ever want to. I mean, you. you there's a scene in this that I love where he, you know, is essentially like, if you didn't do what you do, you wouldn't be alive, you know, you would be worthless if you can't do your music. And so I think the reason why they really love and understand each other is because they both are people that are so driven by this intense need and compulsion towards expressing themselves in the way that they do for Bianca, it's music for Adonis, it's fighting. Um, so she would never want to stop it because she knows, she knows him, I think, and she knows how important that is because she understands that about herself. This time around though, they have, a, they have a child and they're starting a family, so the stakes are higher. So she wants him to be reasonable in what he decides to do, but she'd never want to stop him. And she's not that kind of woman, you know, the, or person I should say, not, not specific to womanhood, but she's, yeah. And we love that inside of a boxing movie, she's not the nagging wife, you know? She's not that archetype. Do you think their baby can change them? If so, how? Yeah, I think their baby has changed them already in terms of you know their decision-making process. And I think if we're lucky enough to make more films, that the child, Amara, will change the tone of the films because that's a new character that we'll get to explore and, and, and you know, maybe could be at the forefront of the story one day. Bianca is a strong woman and she knows what she wants. Uh, how was it playing a musician? What were the difficult, difficulties creating the character? I think just, I had never written music before when I did the first Creed. So, you know, I think so often a part of my job as an actor is you convince yourself first and thereby you convince the audience. And, um, and sometimes that's easier than other times. You know, sometimes the thing that you're being is, is a little closer to you or, or you have a way in that's, you know, that's, Swift, but for me it was very daunting to have to write these songs. But I really love to do things that scare me, that feel like they push me, and uh, I like being nervous, not knowing if I can if I can pull something off. So I enjoy that challenge about her, but it certainly is a challenge. Can't be, because we're a team. Now you know what you're fighting for.